Hello, my name's Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Ch Chasm Web Fi Firefox on a Costa OS using Big Bear Costa OS, the third party app store. So, a little bit about this series I'm going over Home Labs for installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what will be installed today. Mozilla Firefox for Chasm Workspaces. Uh, Chasm Workspaces is a Docker container streaming platform for delivering browser-based access to desktops, applications, and web services. Um, you'll be able to just launch Firefox, and uh, it looks like this. So um, there is environment variables, the launch URL, the app args, and the Chasm restricted file chooser. Um, so that's what will be installed today. So I'll be starting on Big Bear Cost OS. There will be a link on the YouTube description to get to this. This is a, a third-party app store for Cost OS. It's maintained by Big Bear Tech World and the Big Bear community. Um, it has quite a few apps, and this is the one that we will be installing today. Um, just going to scroll down. So um, I did do a video on how to install Big Bear Cost OS on Cost OS, but I'm going to go over in that, uh, this video as well. The custom app stores are only supported on Cost OS version 0.4.4 or newer. So I'm going to scroll up to App Store URL right here. I'm going to copy this. Then I'm going to go over my Cost OS and get the App Store set up. So now I'm going to start on my Cost OS. I'm going to go to App Store and then more apps over here. And then I'm going to paste in the URL that we copied over in Big Bear Cost OS. Then I'm going to add. Now we have 160 apps, so um, I'm going to refresh the page, go back into the App Store, go over the categories, and you can see Big Cost OS now. Um, so you can see all the apps that you can install. So we got the App Store set up. So now I'm going to start on Big Cost OS. There will be a link on the YouTube description to get to this. I'm going to go over to search right here. I'm going to type in Firefox. Then I'm going to go to the Firefox, and then um, that's Big Cost OS, Apps, and then Firefox. I'm going to go in the darker post now. So the Cost OS app name is Big Bear Firefox. I'm going to set services, and the first service underneath the services is called Firefox. The container name is going to be called Big Bear Firefox. The image is coming off of Docker Hub by default because there's no URL before this. Chasm Web Firefox. This is the Docker image. Then this is the Docker image tag. And then I'm going to set ports. So 6902 is on the host and 6901 is on the container. So if this does collide with another port on your host, you can change it. Do not change the container's port though. I'm going to set environment variables. So the VNC pa password to get into the UI is cost OS and the username will be chasm underscore and then the user. Um, launch URL is uh, community.bigbirdtechworld.com. That, uh, that's the first ta tab that will be launched. And then the allocated uh, memory, uh, shared memory size, so 512 megabytes. Um, I'm going to set X cost of this information to explain the environment variables. And then I'm going to set cost of specific information to explain the app store. So the architectures that the Docker image up here supports is AMD64 and ARM64. The main service is Firefox, and then the, the the description, the tagline, the developer, and then the author of the, doc, of the Docker Compose, the icon, and then thumbnail, the title, the category, so you can see all the Big Cost OS apps uh, easily, and then the port map is 6902, and then this runs with the host port over here. So the scheme is HTTPS, and then it's uh, set tips before install, and then it shows you the username. So that's a little bit about the Docker Compose. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. 
So let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm going to start on my Cos OS. I'm going to go to App Store and then I'm going to go to search and type in Fire uh, Fox. And then, um, you, you know, it's coming from Vibra Cos OS because the category down here. So I'm going to go into it. I'm going to press install. It's going to say the uh, tip before installing. And then I'm going to say next steps. Now I'm going to continue in background. This could take a bit. It's got to download the Docker image off the registry, get it extracted, and get it up with Docker Compose underneath because this does use the Docker engine. So now we got it up and running, and it's good to go. So now I'm going to explain the container options. So if you go up these top uh, ver vertical dots, and you can open into the web UI, you can set some tips, and for the first tip is the username. So you can go edit this and then type in their testing, then press the save button. It, it reloads the container in the background, says Firefox is okay. And now you can go back into the tips and you can see it did save. Um, set, uh, settings, you, you can see set, settings right here, and then you can press save button. You can also go up here to the terminal logs and um, you can go into it and then you can go in the container. You can also go to the logs right here. That's great for debugging. You can export the Docker and pose right here. You can uh, X out of here. So um, now you can check for updates and then you can uninstall, restart and power off and on. So now you can open into the web UI from here or you can go from here. So I'm gonna open it and now the connection is not private, so I'm going to go advanced and then proceed. Now you can put in your username, which is chasm underscore user, and then um, you can type in the password, so that will be Casa OS, and then sign in. And now we're in, and you can see that there was a first tab that was started with Big Bear Community. Um, so, so you can search just like a normal Firefox, so you can go to Google. And there we go. You can also go, go over here to the settings. Um, you can also go to the Chasm BNC settings over here. So drag viewport, keys, clipboard, full screen, get a game cursor mode, the, the settings. You can go keyboard shortcut, stream quality, advanced. And you can pl completely disconnect from the uh, VNC. And then you can connect back up to it. So... That's a little bit about the UI for Firefox. So I just went over step-by-step -step on getting Chasm Web Firefox running on Cos OS using Big Bird Cos OS third-party app store. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need community support, you can go out in the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.